Notes on the first and second strings, exercise two. You'll notice that in measure, our measures four, five, six, and seven, we have a new rhythm, the dotted half note. But for the dotted half note, we let it ring for three beats. A dot adds half to whatever note it's placed onto, so it adds half of the value to it. So a half note is equal to two beats in 4-4 four, four time. One, two. So if we half of two is one, so two plus one is three. So a dotted half note will be three beats. One, two, three. If that seems a little alien to you, or if you do not understand it, that's fine. For now, just memorize that a dotted half note is equal to three beats. So notes on the first and second strings, exercise two. One, two, three, four. Now you'll notice I had a, it was a little choppy on between measures four and five. So measure four goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So when I played the open E, before I played the D, my third finger accidentally stopped the second string from ringing. One way to prevent that is to play with my fingertips. And as we were talking in exercise, or notes on the first string, exercise four, keeping my thumb at a lower level on the fretboard, or behind the fretboard, so that when I play that E, then I can curve my fingers real easily to play the D. So again, those measures with the dotted half notes, I'm starting to measure four. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four, stop. So if you have problems with the E to the D, Practice the transition between those measures a lot. You can practice measure four. So measure four to the end, or you can just practice measures four. Notes on the first and second strings, exercise two, with a metronome at 60. 